My official black market prime build can completely shut down the paint with elite blocks, can ISO out the corner and cook defenders to score with an elite mid-range game, can soar through the air with crazy jumps to get every rebound, can still get crazy putback dunks off misses, can lurk every lane and get every steal, and when it comes to shooting threes, you can come up the court, stop at half court, pull up, curry turnaround, green. Yeah. What's good, you two, man? It's your boy Swag back at it again with another paint. And yes, the moment has finally arrived, man. You guys have been spamming me on comments on my videos and on my stream saying, Swag, when we get into updated back and build, we need it. Come on. Well, today is finally that day, man. Sorry it took so long for me to get this video out. I appreciate y'all for constantly showing me love on the channel, man. We growing like crazy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, share this video. But without further ado, man, let's go straight to the build. All right, man. So heading into the build, as y'all know, name doesn't matter. Handling in its preference number doesn't matter. As we move on to the custom template, we're going to go power forward. You can go center. Uh, I went power forward just because I'm going to be at the four. Now you want to go 6-8. Every comp prime build you're going to see is going to be 6-8 for power forward. Now for this build, what changes a little bit is the weight. We're going to go max weight. And I know it affects my speed a little bit. Speed is something I did lose a little bit on this build for going max weight. But the extra weight does act as extra strength. So someone who weighs, let's say, 230 um, with like Hall of Fame box out is going to get wormed more likely with someone who still has Hall of Fame box out, but like 275 strength. So the extra weight um, definitely still helps a lot with getting better animations. Now for wingspan, we're gonna go max wingspan on this build. Uh, the higher the higher wingspan, the better defense. Uh, now let's get to the attributes. So starting with the finishing, if you guys watched my first backend build video that I posted a couple weeks ago, we take a little bit of a hit in the driving dunk compared to that build. Instead of the 75 like we originally had, we're only going 65. We needed to save some attributes for other attributes that we wanted to upgrade. And 65 is a nice threshold to have that unlocks one of the best packages. As y'all know, the athletic hangs off one. I have it on the screen right now. I mean, the 75 is obviously better than the 65. I did notice a slight difference when attacking the basket. He's like a little less aggressive, so you can notice it a little bit. But I still get uh, good dunks on this build, whether it's dunking off the backdoor cut or running the fast break off a steal or even putbacks. You can still get putbacks on this build. But you can definitely still consistently finish with a 65 driving dunk. Moving on to standing dunk, we're gonna go 40. I know you get both dunk packages if you go 45, but in all honesty, standing dunk is a little expensive on this build. And the dunk package you get at 40 rating is actually better than the 45 because it's actually a little faster uh, when you rise up. So you can actually get away with only going 40 rating. Diving into the shooting, we're gonna go 78 three ball and 84 midi. Now this is one of the biggest differences from my original build that I posted a couple weeks ago. The, the old build only had like 61 mid range with a 76 three ball because I wanted all the ball handling and dribble moves and being able to speed boost and all that. But making this change was the best decision that I made because even if you don't shoot much mid ranges, which as you're going to see in the clips, I definitely do. Upgrading your mid range gives you so much better badges that will actually make you shoot better from three. Yes, <laughs> making your mid-range higher will make you shoot better threes because of the badges. You go from mostly bronze shooting badges to mostly gold and silver once you upgrade the mid-range. To break down the exact reason for the ratings that I chose here, the 84 midi in specific gives you that gold midi magician, which as you saw in the clips, man, I definitely utilize to the fullest potential. The midi fades are so hard to guard this year, so any little inch of space that you get and he could just fade wide open, especially using the Kobe pull up, which is what I use on my builds. And for the three point rating, you win at least a 76 to get bronze agent threes and silver corner specialists. But we max it out to a 78 because when it comes to the ratings that are in like the low to mid and to high 70s, uh, 2K Labs did a test and you do get a nice percentage boost for each small rating that you go up by. So like a 78 gets like a 6% boost from a 70, a 76. So because of the test, I maxed out my 78 and I definitely feel like I'm a better shooter with the 78 than I am on my, my 76. And as you can see in the clips, man, for the threes, fades, contested, like 40% contested, 20 something percent contested, 
off the dribble, even hop jumpers. I think I use Harrison Barnes hop jumper and even shooting it from half court, man. I know y'all saw the clip in the intro, but I'm gonna show it again. Bro, uh, shooting from half court, doing the curry turnaround. When it comes to shooting on this build, man, it's definitely by far my favorite shooting build for a power forward. And I know, man, before y'all start panicking, swear, you, for you forgot to give us the jump shot, swag, swag, what did you? Ah, child, man, if y'all want to shoot the smutties like I'm shooting, as y'all saw reds, green and reds, shooting over those, this is the jump shot right here, man. I'm using that Ben Shepard still with the Troy Brown Jr. and the Kyle Corbin, man, 3-4 speed. This jump shot is chicken. And then obviously this is a pro and build so you're gonna want free throw i know 80 gives you that silver free point and i wish i was able to get it but like i said i literally tweaked this build to the very last attribute and i couldn't afford to get the um to get the 80 free throw so the max i can get was 79 one point away um if you find something that you can tweak and you want that 80 free throw you can definitely do that but for the way i made my build i only have a 79 free throw on this build all right, so moving on to the playmaking, man. The pass accuracy is going to be the same as the old build. We're going to go 75 for that silver break starter. Now, I know for a prime build, you might think like, oh, 75 is too low. It's only silver break starter. You do sometimes get bad passes, but for the most part, man, as you're going to see in this clip, the breaks are Ws on this build. Perfect leading them to the basket. Um, right here, we hit below on the fast break. Catches an easy lay. We be dotting um, even outside um, the pass that drags him to the three perfect catch easy smooth um the 75 pass sack is nice i was looking at versions that got the gold uh break starter i think you need the 86 for the gold but it's just kind of expensive man and with everything i wanted on this build as you're gonna see when we get to the defense um the 75 pass sack is it's like what i fell with is like the perfect median um that still gave you good passes so we went with the 75 pass sack for the silver break starter I know this is going to come as a shock, as a surprise. Y'all know I love to dribble on my back end, but we're only going 40 ball handle and then 40 speed with ball. The main reason for 40 speed with ball is to get this normal dribble style, uh, which you need a 40 speed with ball. This allows you to do this, um, this quick cross speed boost. Like even though you only have a 40 ball handle, 40 speed with ball, as y'all see in this clip, man, you can still do this fast speed boost. And when I tell y'all, this doing this one move is better than all the combos i was doing on my 80 ball handle y'all know me i had the harder behind the back the john wall escape i had i had all that but doing this one simple move of the cross man once you master it and learn how to effectively do it especially paired up with the high mid range you can definitely definitely kill defenders out the corner man quick side 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 fade it doesn't matter if it's contested if they jump like I've gotten so many points and even without you can combo up between the legs as y'all see here that's still with i only have a 25 ball hand on this build and then pull up for the mid-range man the 40 speed with ball is beautiful on this build it's super cheap i recommend you get it even on a center if you're a 7 1 center like you guys watch my penny uh build video for i'm in corner i gave that build 40 speed with ball because having the normal dribble style is so good and it's a must in my opinion Right, man so moving on to the bread and butter of the build man my main focus the defense we're gonna start with the steel we're gonna go 89 steel now this gives you the gold interceptor and i know if you go up by 2 to 91 you do get the gold glove and the gold right stick ripper and that may be something that interests you but for me personally i usually only go for interception steals i don't really like to reach on ball i don't really like to reach on the guard and get out of position i mostly go for lane steals and you might be thinking swag if you're going mostly for lanes or back end why don't you go 95 steel for half well i did have a build with 95 steel with the hall of fame interceptor and 2k labs did a test and the half is better than gold don't get me wrong but it's only a little bit better the margin from gold to hall of fame isn't a big jump gold is the sweet spot for interceptor so i figured i saved myself a lot of the attributes to be able to get to upgrade something really high as you're going to see later in the video something that i wanted really high as an attribute that's really expensive so as you see here man i have no problem getting interceptions on this build uh baiting lanes the on ball steals now you only have silver glove um but you can still get plucks on this build as you're going to see in this clip coming up after this interception i still can blitz the pg every now and then still get an on ball pluck it's just that my personal play style is more for playing lanes and playing more discipline 
All right, so that's everything for the steel, the 89 steel. As we move to perimeter, we're gonna go with 87 perimeter. Now, 87 in specific, as you're gonna see, gives you that go challenger, which does help with contest. And with playing back in, you're gonna be playing like low one of the screen and then having to pick up on the PG, running out, getting a hand up contest for the not, not to give up a three. So you want as high as um as challenger as you can with this build and 87 is like a nice in between a nice threshold to have as i can see i'm playing a little low and then once i see that uh, my lock is out of position i can run up and up get a nice contest also with the clamps a lot of the times i'm not in front of the pg guarding them 1v1 but i do show get a little clamps animation bump and then run down back to the center so having the 87 perimeter is definitely nice so moving on the block this is another aspect of the build that's a little bit different instead of the 92 for gold anger we're only going to go 87 and raise our interior to 74 to get that silver anchor and also the bronze post move i know you get the interior only a 72 to get bronze but we want 74 for bronze post move as well but this is something i learned man again i'm always making the new build based off of test and 2k labs did a test and the anchor badges are pretty much not that big of difference honestly from silver gold hall of fame as y'all see in the, the the graph here man the silver gold hall of fame they're all relatively the same when it comes to getting contests so i say some attributes here um the reason i went 87 for silver and not just bronze anchor if it's all the same was to get the gold chase down as y'all see we get crazy chase down on this build and i do believe the gold chase down is actually a really good badge and for the people who think the interior is too low, this year all you have to do is have your hands up and you're getting a stop in the paint. Heading to the reason we remade the build and something that I really wanted to add was the 99 rebounding for that Hall of Fame rebound chaser. And when I tell y'all, man, I've never grabbed so many rebounds. I thought at first when I made the build, I was like, nah, like I don't really notice. But after the test, y'all know me, like I said, 2K Labs, I'm always following their tests. Hall of Fame is a lot better than gold. It's a, it's a pretty substantial jump. And I definitely noticed it, man. Just off playing with gold from my old build that had the gold rebound chaser to jumping to the Hall of Fame. You do get so many better animations. He jumps higher. He leaps farther. It comes in so clutch, especially in clutch games where you need big boards. And having the 99D board also helps you with O board because you still have the Hall of Fame rebound chaser. So on old boards at the corner, you're crashing out the corner with the with the Hall of Fame rebound chaser and with the 80 80 plus O board, you're still snagging even on offensive boards. And that is I can't it's I can't describe how good of a feeling and how big it is and important it is for your back end to be able to to board and to O board and get second chance points and all that. So this is probably gonna be my main build. The 99 rebounding is super soup. I love it so much. And in my opinion, it's definitely better to have the 99 rebound and Hall of Fame rebound chaser than the 95 steel with the Hall of Fame interceptor. So moving on to the physicals, we already upgraded some of the ratings earlier when I was uh, showing the gold chase down. But to finish it off, we're going to max out the speed at a 78. And in my opinion, it is way more important to be bigger and have the most strength for a power forward back end than it is to have the higher speed. And I know this speed helps with the rotations and showing to the pg and getting back to the center on the slip but compared to my other build i only really lose two speed i went from a 80 speed to a 78 and i gained like 40 extra pounds which helps increase my strength now for the excel we leave it at a 66 excel doesn't really matter at all for this build but we can't lower it because it's connected to your perimeter so if you lower your excel you're going to lower your perimeter and we want the 87 for the for the badges and now for the strength, this is another aspect of the build that I changed. Instead of just your typical 90 strength for the Hall of Fame box out beast, which I think every power up forward should have, especially for Prime, we go 95 strength to get that Hall of Fame immovable enforcer. And this badge right here is one of the best badges in the game, man. It's also different from Interceptor when I explained it earlier that going from gold to Hall of Fame isn't much of a boost. Nah, man, with this badge, going from gold to Hall of Fame is almost still a 20% boost. And I can't count how many times I've been out of position in the paint, getting to the slip late or any of that, and getting a still getting a crazy bump animation that causes the, the, the offensive player to miss or turn the ball over. So I know going 95 strength was expensive, and that's why we had to sacrifice things like dunk and some speed. But my opinion, it's worth it because of how effective this badge is. 
Now for vertical, we went with 80, like I said earlier, to get that gold chase down. If you want to go higher, you definitely can. I'm a believer this year that higher vert actually does benefit you with getting boards and stuff, unlike other years. But 80 was all I can afford with everything else I wanted. And then finally, stamina, man, we go 95 to get that gold workhorse, which helps with tracking down loose balls off like long rebounds or off a of plug steel and the ball is loose. This badge gives you like more speed to track down the build. I mean, track down the ball. So that's why we go with that. So that's the full updated build, man. You get the unique name two way spot up glass cleaner, which is actually really fire. This is the build that I play in in all the tournaments uh, we play with Joe Knows Black Market Team. And this is also the build I'm going to be using in the 100,000 UPA live event, man. And that should be really fun. I appreciate everyone for watching this video and continuing to show your support to the channel, man. We're 20K subs on the way. Don't forget to hit that like button, that sub button, turn notice on because I got way more fire content for you on the way, man. If you want the best prime center build on the game, that's the video on the screen right now. Check it out. But until next time, the boy swags out of here. Peace.